How is everyone doing? Welcome back to the channel. It is a gorgeous day here in Western Newfoundland and it's actually snowing a little bit, but it's pretty warm. I believe it's like, you know, positive three, three to five, something like that. I'm going to put all that up now, all the uh, weather statistics you're going to need to know. And today is going to be a bit of a different one. I've got two spin casts with me as always, because I tend to break rods and uh, I've got one of my fly rods with me. My goal for today is to catch fish on a fly rod. Now, it's a little early to see people even trying this in Newfoundland, but I like trying new stuff, and uh, I like challenging myself, and it's very rewarding. So, my goal today is to catch some big fish, some big landlocked Atlantic salmon, and some big native brook trout. We're going to try to do it on the fly. Now, we've got tens of kilometers of water to cover in the canal we're going to be fishing today. Um, that's right, I said canal. We're fishing the Humber Grand Lake Canal system. So, we've got kilometers upon kilometers of water to cover today. Obviously, fishing the fly rod all that way is not gonna be super effective. So I'm gonna use a spin cast for a lot of it starting off at each new spot, just to locate fish. And once I find those fish, if it's doable, we are gonna try for them on the fly. So come along today, we'll see what happens. Just coming down upon the first spot here, I can hear some geese a few hundred yards out. This canal system is a little high. So I think it's gonna be in my favor a little bit. Got my seven foot rod, uh, medium action, 3000 series reel, eight pound test, monofilament. And I'm gonna be starting off with this spoon. Don't exactly know what the, you know, what the color name is. I guess it's a brook trout type color, but it looks amazing in the water. It's a little heavy, it's 21 grams, but, 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 we're gonna see if we can get a strike out of something. First cast going out. Well, that's a good sign. Look out just beyond my lure. You can see a fish at the top of the water. So if I see a bit of that, I'm definitely going to throw some top water on the fly rod. And, uh, you know, oh, had it hit right there. 100% of fish. Got that on video too. That's good. I know that wasn't bottom either. That was a nibble, nibble, tug, tug. Hey, get that back out. I think we're going to head out. I've been fan casting around over there, over there, over there, everywhere. And uh, if there was anything else here, I think we would have would have hooked into something by now. So I'm going to give her a couple more casts and we're going to head out to spot number two. camera on and I just had a very large landlock follow this lure in so I'm gonna try to replicate the same thing there and he took it and I darn it I plucked but I uh I just missed him followed it right in he did and I mean right in I'm after casting well I don't know four or five times after and I don't know sad to say I don't think he's gonna come back that would have been a darn good fish would have been my biggest landlock salmon so far this year Easily three pounds he was, but who knows, he might come back and I'm, I might uh, put a streamer on the fly rod and see if that gets his attention at all. I've actually changed baits. I've got on this Berkeley grub with a, a weight. See that fish at the top of the water there? I just cast it to him and I got bit twice. So that's exactly where he was. Let's see if he'll take again. Ah. Bait's too small is all it is. Got him. We're on. We're on, boys. We're on. Yes, sir. Woohoo! Awesome. Oh, there we go. Best thing to happen to that little guy. Small landlocked salmon. I'm not mad about that whatsoever. Perfect, perfect. I would have liked to get a picture and a release with him, but hey, I'll take it. Awesome. Let's keep fishing. Chances are if there's one fish feeding there. There's a bunch there feeding for, for a good reason. Well, I just turned, oh, I just turned off the camera and lost another one. Look at that. Darn it. Good enough. Let's get back out there. Let's see. Got a weird feeling they're kind of stacked up there. Might be a little school. On again. That one feels decent. Feels really big, actually. 
Maybe he's just fighting good. About the same size as the last guy. Not bad at all. Not bad. I'm actually going to bring him to the net and we'll do a proper release there. Just a short little walk. This guy's fine. In the net. I'd say he's a pound. I'll get the camera set up and we'll get a release on this guy. Here he is. Just a smaller, smaller landlocked salmon. But still pretty and still very feisty. Now I use the net for these smaller fish because, well, it keeps them healthy. And it's easier for you as well. There we are. Nice little guy. I'm going to put him back in the net. We'll, we'll send him back home and see if there's any more in that little school of fish there. We're just going to do a little no-touch release there. Let him swim out. He'll go do his thing. Once he gets his bearings right, he'll be just fine. He'll probably chill there for a little bit, but that's awesome. Now, if I cast out there again and I find a few more fish, definitely going to get the fly rod because it's definitely castable, but want to try it one more time. Well, guys, look down there. Another fish at the top of the water. And I'm pretty sure I just had a couple bites on this cast here. Or in the same spot, I mean. Yep, yep, he's there. Oh, I can see my uh, my bait there, so I know I'm not hitting the bottom. Ooh. Seems like there's fish just stacked up here in this little this little cove. The current's coming down there and kind of breaking off. And this is where it opens up. So I guess off this little flat here, they're just having an absolute feast on the, the smelt and the bugs. Hooked up, guys. Feels like a solid fish when I think it is. I think it's a brookie. Oh, it is a brookie. What a brookie. Look at those head shakes. What a fish, guys. What a fish. Look at that trout. Oh, man. What a fish. <laughs> look at the size of that brook trout. Oh, look at the colors on that fella. Oh my goodness. Just look at that. Barely caught him with that Berkeley grub or a Berkeley minnow. Well, guys, this fish right here just made the trip worth it. What a beautiful brook trout. Look at that fish. Everything at two pounds, everything of it. What a fish. Oh my goodness. I can't even express how happy this one trout makes me. He's in the net. He's fine. He's healthy. He's going to release just fine. What an absolutely hard day this has been. I was trying to film two other videos before this. One to get you guys on the month break that we have coming up in 14 days. Oh wow. What a fish. What an absolute unit, guys. I'm going to get a little video with him there and i'll get a a picture out of the video and we'll get this brute on his way look at the size of that brook trout a nice big mature male just look at the colors on that fish the colors on that fish are just outstanding look at that guy Get him back in the net for a minute. We're going 0.5 mode here just to make sure I get video of him. Just look at that fish. This makes it all worth it. I can promise you that. This one guy right here makes it all worth it. Every single bit of it. What a nice brookie. Nice big male. Let's get him back in the net and uh, we're going to uh, get a nice shot of this guy going back to where he belongs I can't get over it here he is in all his glory look at the size of that fellow what a nice trout beautiful fish
this day has turned out to be something else, let me tell you. All right, let's do this real time. From the cast to the, to the bite, if there is one there. Hit. Hit. He's short stopping me. Got him. Yes, sir. Not a giant. Still a fish. Another little landlock there. I think. Yeah. Or is it? I can't tell if it's a brook trout or not. I haven't got a good look. No, it's a landlock. Whew. Awesome. And another fish at the top of the water. All right. Let's get this guy in the net. And uh, same thing, get another release. There we go. I'm not going to hold him up or anything. We'll just... Uh, We'll just get a release here because I want to get back in because those fish are pretty active right now. Just going to get them unhooked real quick. Just give them a little toss. Those landlocked salmon are some of the hardiest fish you can fish for in Newfoundland, to be honest. So I know there's some more there. Let's see. Oh, the anticipation going through my body right now. Another one. Oh, you come off. Seemed like a decent fish, to be honest. Oh man, this is some of the best fishing I've experienced early spring in a long time. Let's go again. The little one just jumped there or ate something, and I mean a little one. But I got a, I got a weird feeling there's just a school of fish there. He's there. I'm on. Now that's going for a run. Yes, sir. Woohoo! That's what I want with these guys. These landlocked salmon. Good fights, good fights. Whew. That's just a wee little guy. Is that another fish out there? Crazy. Let's get him unhooked and back as quick as we can. And he's gone. Let's do it again. Look at the size of the fish that just hit out in the middle of that current. Oh, I was on just like that. Instant, absolutely instant. Oh. <laughs> man, oh man. I'm just gonna let that one sit there. See if they come grab it. Just barely real. See if he wants to do the work. And he does. That was a... Friggin' hard tug, hard tug. Oh my goodness. Whew. I might have to put on a spoon after so I can get the distance on them. Okay, so virtually every cast right here, I'm getting bit. Not virtually, it's literally every cast here I'm getting bit. So what I'm gonna do is let that settle. Brad actually just called me and I'm gonna go get him in about 10 minutes, but for now I'm just gonna move up right there where I had that really big fish and there's a nice little run there. So we're gonna leave all this. They should keep doing what they're doing. Should only take me a half hour to go get him and back. So we're just gonna fish up there real quick. Then we're gonna go get him. We're on again, guys. Oh, that's a nice fish. Hold on a second. No. Is that a brown trout? No, that's just a landlocked salmon, right? Just a male. Sometimes the colored up males look like brown trout. But I thought he had red dots for a second. That's what really got me. Goodness. Confused the living crap out of me for a second there. Just look at him. No. Definitely a landlocked Atlantic salmon. They'll play tricks on you. Look at that guy. What a nice male landlocked Atlantic salmon. I'd give him pound and a half he's a little skinny but just look at the kite or the kite forming on him beautiful gorgeous fish gorgeous fish okay i'm going to get brad and we're gonna haul our asses right back here so let's go all right update i grab brad we're back only took us 15 minutes. Fish are hitting the top of the water like something crazy. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do here. I'm running out of storage, but um, we're gonna try to get some more footage.
Brad just got one, guys, right by his feet. Is that a trout or a salmon? Salmon, and it's a piglet. <laughs> you keeping them? Uh, no. no. No? I have a net here, man. Viewers are going to roast you for sticking them on the bank. <laughs> Not bad. Brad's going to set up his fly rod and fish right there where we've seen them hitting the top. There's some hitting down here, though, so I'm going to head down there. That's where I caught that big brook trout, and uh, we're going to see what we can do, damage we can do combined. All right, guys, so I'm running out of storage, sadly. This has been an amazing day. I got a bunch of other stuff on this camera. Um, sadly, I can't delete right now. So what I am doing right now is chucking out a floating jerk bait, and they're absolutely slamming it. So I'm just going to get a fish or two on the jerk bait to show you, and that'll conclude this video here. That's a jerk bait right there, so we'll get her out. Two more coming and a few ducks. Sick. That first set was shootable. Oh, 100%. <laughs> There's your jerkbait fish, guys. Oh, you know what? I'm not even counting that. I'm going to catch you another one. That's the smallest jerkbait fish I think I've ever caught. <laughs> I'm going to catch you another one. That's some malnourished landlocked salmon. I'll get him unhooked and back. All right, guys. I just let that little skinny landlock go. I'll try to get you... One more good jerkbait fish, and uh, I think we're gonna conclude this video on that. There we go. Let's see how big this guy is, and depending on that, we'll end the video. I think I may have snagged him in a way. Come around, dude. Yeah, it's not a terrible fish. That is the weirdest way a salmon could eat a jerk bait. We'll get a quick release on him and that'll be it. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed. That was one of the best days I've had fishing during our winter season here in Newfoundland in I think my life. Um, you know, I've caught bigger brookies and I've caught bigger landlocked salmon, but that was that was just really rewarding is how I can explain that. It was just purely rewarding. So I'm definitely going to be back here soon and uh, try to get out a couple more videos to catch some more fish if the spot is the same. And next time, I think I'm going to do it to myself and just do a fly rod. It's hard for me to put down a spin cast, but I'm going to have to do it. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you on the next one.